What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl gossip girl. And today I want to talk to you about a little girl that's missing. She's 12 years old. Her name is Lori Annalise Page. Okay? And she's missing. She's missing. Let's get into this story. It has been more than a month since 12-year-old Lori Page went missing. Her teacher, Margaret Summers, at Griffin Middle School is becoming increasingly worried as the days go by. I don't feel she's getting the attention she deserves. She's polite and has no disciplinary issues. Lori was last seen June 3rd in the 1200 block of Continental Court. Investigators with the Tallahassee Police Department say no foul play is suspected in this case, which has drawn widespread community attention. After her father reported her disappearance, her missing person poster was uploaded to TPD's Facebook page. Since then, it has gotten more than 2,000 shares. Everything is pointing to that she ran away voluntarily, said Anna Drake, a TPD detective in the Special Victims Unit who was leading the search for Lori. But voluntary or not, we're going to exhaust all options to locate her. I don't think this little girl ran away. I'm sorry. I just, I just don't. I don't think she ran away at all. Drake said that unlike other missing children, Lori didn't have a smartphone or she didn't have social media. So that makes it harder to track her down through usual technological routes. Investigators say it appears she is purposefully avoiding contact and not in touch with other students. Drake also said police believe she is with someone who is helping her but don't know their age or identity. It was the second time Lori has run away and been reported missing, she said, and friends have helped her in the past. Okay, so with that little bit of information, it's a possibility. It's a possibility, but she is missing, and I want them to treat this case as a missing person's case. Okay, I understand she she ran away before and she had friends helping her before, but still, this could be a total different situation. If it is an adult who is helping her hide, they need to come forward because harboring a juvenile is a serious crime and can result in an arrest. Detectives have been working with Lori's father to gather all the information they can find, you know, to help find her. TPT is asking for anybody with additional information to come forward. I just hope they find her, you know, unharmed and okay. She's been missing since June 3rd. Here we are in February of 2024. Where is Lori Page? Now, Drake urged people with information about Lori's whereabouts to contact the police directly at 850-891-4200 rather than simply post it on social media. She said investigators don't have the means to monitor every comment and sometimes comments won't be seen for a few days. While some on social media have you know, worried about what they say is an increase in missing person cases. TPT, TPD said there has not been a quick, excuse me, an uptick. Hmm. Her teacher says she's a very good student. She's very well behaved. You know, she had no issues with Lori. So what happened? Where is Lori? Where is she? And I do believe somebody has her. Whether they, whether they are helping her run away or not, somebody, she's with somebody, okay? How is she eating? Who's clothing her? Okay? It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. And I just hope that, you know, she's found soon. And I hope that she's found alive. But this 
case is not getting the attention that it needs to get. This case needs to be posted in the Daily News, the New York Post, Yahoo News. It needs to be on every TV news station. And it's not. And it's not. And it's sad. So the FBI announced on Tuesday that the agency is offering up to a $15,000 reward for any information that leads to the whereabouts of Lori Page, okay, a 12-year-old girl who has been missing from Tallahassee, Florida since June 3rd of 2023. The FBI will stop at nothing to protect kids, and we are fully committed to helping our partners at Tallahassee Police Department exhausts every investigative resource in the search for Lori Page. FBI Jacksonville acting special agent in charge, Mark Dargis, told the news outlet, we encourage everyone to keep an eye out for this young lady and help us bring her home. So the FBI is involved, but even offering a reward if you see that little girl or if you see somebody with her, do not approach her. Just call 911. And if they are in a car, give the police the license plate number or whatever. Give a full description so they know who they're looking for that has Lori. Or if she's just by herself, just don't approach her. Call the police as soon as you can. Because when you approach somebody, they will run. And then... You know, it's it's lost. So please, I I would like it and greatly appreciate it if you guys could share this video to your social media or even just tell your friends about it and just put some pink hearts in the comment section, you know, that you're sending your prayers that we find Lori Page alive. Okay, so. That's all I have on this. I will keep you guys updated when I hear more. Well, let's just hope for the best, okay? Let's hope for the best and pray that she is fine, okay, and unharmed. And I'll talk to you guys later.